Well, can you just this style of Fifty Seven here? Um, this is a quick. Please don't touch up my fraps. This is a quick build. Um, there's room for upgrade. Wait, why did I just do that? <coughs> this is a eight gigabyte computer that is capable of doing up to. I think it will be able to manage the four screens. And just check. Yeah, so it'll be able to manage the four screens. And the reason of this is because, <coughs> first of all, the processor that I've chosen, this is probably going to be one of them. I'm going to probably do so, a couple of upgrades, but this will be the computer that I'll be getting for my desktop. But obviously, I'll be getting a higher RAM capacity because I've got an 8 gig laptop at the moment, so I'm much point in me getting an 8 gig computer. I'll be getting a better graphics card than that. And, yeah. But one more thing about this is this AMD A10580K is an APU, not a CPU. That means it's, that it can do graphics as well. So, yeah, so this processor here, when my internet won't stop in a little crap, has integrated AMD Radeon HD 7760D graphics. Plus, it's a quad core processor, which is pretty good. And it's got quite a high clock speed of 3.8 gigahertz and if you know what you're doing well if you order it from this website which is Novatech I think they only do to they're only in like England though I don't know what their deliveries are to other countries because it doesn't really matter to me because I live in England <coughs> but yeah this if you order it from them you can get a free dirt showdown voucher so you get a game for free as well and there are also a few uh, that are great um, things that will list on the side here um, if they're APUs, they can do graphics as well. So, and as long as they're FM2, they should work. So you could use any of the FM2 processors. Um, next thing is the motherboard. When it loads, this motherboard is of. I guess it would be fairly reliable. I can't quite tell, but the reviews. Well, I don't know if it's this website. I don't think this one has any reviews. But I read a few reviews online, and yeah. The reviews are pretty good. <coughs> it's got pretty much everything you need. Two RAM modules, so you could go up to 16 gig. This is a micro ATX computer, mind, which are the really small computers. Um, it's got slot for your accelerated processing unit, as I think what they're called. That they supports graphics as well. Your DDR3 RAM, your A55 chipset. And your SATA 3 gigabyte per second hard drive links. You have your expansion slots over here. I think this is a PCI Express expansion slot that runs at 16 times, I believe. Um, then you've got your HD, well, just your normal audio that every computer has. Your LAN with two USBs, two more USBs, a VGA port, a DVI port, and then your traditional keyboard and mouse ports. This features um, a DirectX supporting graf um, internal graphics card that you can have in it using an accelerated processing unit. It supports um, 16 times PCI Express slots. Um, it has. I'm just trying to paraphrase this now. It's got dual graphics, which can use the APU, and you can have a discrete GPU, which is like a second graphics card. With a discrete one. an APU is when you have your graphics card on board to your processor, and a discrete GPU is the graphics card that are their own thing. They hold their own memory and all that. So yeah, this has the option to use both of them, which can give you much more um, power when you're running your what's what I'm thinking of when you're playing games. So obviously that's what this is, it's for gaming. You can have 16 gigabyte of RAM and they can all be 1866 megahertz per units. I've picked a 1333 megahertz I believe, or a, or a 103, or something like that. It's got a, um, it's got the option to change the fans. I haven't actually read about this moment but that much, I just, this is what's been recommended to me and I'm just doing a video on it. Um, GPU boost, so you can let um increase up the oh what's I'm thinking of, so you can overclock. Now, um, 
Another one about overclocking. Flexible and easy BIOS, which means that you can use mouse in your BIOS, whereas most BIOSes you can only use your keyboard with the up and down arrows. It's got a user friendly interface. It's got anti surge protection. It can it supports Windows 8. And it's energy efficient. So that's a pretty that's the motherboard. Um once again it is a AMD with an A fifty five FM two processor. It can have A series and Athlons. It's got a PCI sixteen times, two PCI one times and one normal PCI. These are both PCI Express slots. It supports AMD radio and HD graphics seven thousand series and it has dual graphics. And yeah, it has a bunch of all these extra features like the PS2 mouse and keyboard slots. And that's not PS2 the console by the way. So yeah, that's the motherboard. <laughs> this video is getting quite long already. The RAM that I've selected is not expensive but it's not cheap. <coughs> and this is it's got a lifetime warranty I believe it's f 8 gig which is what I currently got on my computer um it's a uh, 1333 megahertz like I said a minute ago and it's a dual channel which will get allow you faster uh, there's some reviews affordable efficient way to fill up your dual channel memory slots for to gaming standards network gaming as always, they were delivered in time and in working condition, so they got it delivered in the time that they asked for it. Um, 8 gig is like a PCI free. 10 to 6 dual channel is the way to go for 2012 gaming. Obviously, this is 2013, but it should still work. It will still be pretty well working. And it's also a great upgrade for older PCs for a reasonable price. They received it 24 hours after recording without an issue. So yeah, that's another thing about this website. They always have good reviews about their deliveries. That's out of stock at the moment because so many people actually order it because they got their new stock in something like two days ago and it's all gone already. Then here's the second graphics card that I've selected. <laughs> this is optional. <laughs> that other graphics card will probably play games. But this will allow three, four, five screens. I believe, no, nope, four screens. That's not an actual output if I'm correct. It's a one gigabyte discrete graphics card with GDDR5 um what's it called RAM on it. It's got a dustproof fan. It's, it can be overclocked. It allows you to monitor the fans, RPM and all that stuff, isn't it? It allows clear beautif beautifully Clear, rich and clear video playback. I'm just reading them from what it says here. It's got the iFinity compatibility, which is basically SLI and stuff like that. <laughs> for um, what's what I'm thinking of? It's basically like SLI, but for this model graphics card. Um, and it says brilliant cards runs all the latest games if using a decent system. Delivered next day with free delivery. Five stars to neighbors have been a customer for many years and will continue. Was in Carlo guy for thirty nine pound on sale. Still worth the money and plays Battlefield 3 on full resolution without any issue. So there you go. Pretty good graphics card that will run any games. It's got a DVI, a HDMI and a display part. So it may do five it may be able to the system may be able to do five screens. It may only be able to do three. No, not three, four. Um next is the hard drive, there's not really much to go into. It's a SATA hard drive, seven thousand two hundred RPM, it's an OEM, it's got a sixty megabyte catch and it's five hundred gig. Obviously, you can swap this out for a SATA. As long as it's SATA, you can swap it out for a solid state drive, a hybrid, or another mechanical drive. It's just I've just picked a cheap modular, um, what's it, not um optical drive. Sorry, not modular. Um, this allows you to install your copy of Windows, and that's about it. Because who on honestly, who uses them anymore? All my games are off Steam. Steam's the way to go now. Um, and then here's the power supply, it's modular, which means that instead of having all the cables come out of it, you just plug in the cables that you need. As you can see, you just plug the cables in and then to it, and it comes with all the cables if I'm correct. Which I'm not normally correct, so don't quote me on that. See, it's modular, like I said. It's got, it's got protection on it. It's, uh, 
SLI slash Crossfire ready, which is quite a good thing. Is Japanese capacitor. I'm surprised it's not Chinese, that's where everything's made. Support latest ATX 12 volt and 2.4 volt and is back and is backwards compatible. So it'll work on a different system most other systems as well. It's an 80 plus um thing which means that it's got you'll get it will use more use less electricity to power your system, I believe. It's something to do with it will help your you save electricity. I know that I, f I know that much because it's efficient and it's a power supply, so that normally means it will help you save um, electricity. And it's got a two-year warranty with Neighbortech if you buy it with them. And it's got a f ultra silent fan, which is 13.5 millimeter, which will keep it with which has an intelligent temperature controller, which will keep your power supply nice and cool. It's a 400 watt, 240 volt, as everything is now. It's got the option for floppy disk, SATA, so you can have six SATA connections. Got PCI, everything you need, basically. As you can see, it's 500 watt then, not 400 watt like I thought it was. But yeah, that's, there's quite a few good reviews, check it out on this website. All the names will be seeable, just here, um... I will put links to everything in the description, thanks for watching, and this is a great little budget build if you're changing from the console world to the PC world, and if you need any help, um, there's always the message button on my channel page, and just message me for any assistance you need, and I'll be glad to help if I can. So bye bye, and oh yeah, one last thing, if you live in Port Portis Portishead, Cardiff, Portsmouth or Reading, you can just drive straight up there and collect it. Like with mine, I'll probably collect it from Porter's Head, because that's the closest one to me. It's only like three miles away from me. Not too far, when your dad's driving. <laughs> so yeah, once again, that's the system. It's an AMD ATM580K. No, five, yeah, 580K. Oh, blah, 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 blah. Don't listen to me. As a Zeus F2A55-M, LK AMD 85 socket FM2 motherboard. Um, 8 gig, Crucial Ballast Sport, DDR3, for, for, one for three 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 megahertz dual channel um RAM and a Zeus AMD Radeon on HD six six seventy direct X eleven compatible GPU. Um by the way this processor the uh, you don't actually need to get this. So without this it'd be about just shy of three hundred pound. So yeah. Because this does support um DirectX 11, which will mean it, which means it will run most new games. One minute, I've got one of these chips. Proud of this baby, I must say. Reading the specs is something bad. But I was looking for a budget PC. The 18 is just what I'm looking for. I had this. I'm faster. Um, G skill. It's this is um, it's a very cheap APU. It runs games like Armor 2 on medium. Some games even on high. The only downside is the little cooler. It is very noisy. If turned it out to test how noisy it really is, blah blah blah. So wait, let me just find something um cooling. So you could just chuck um cool them now. You need a FM two FM two APU. Do even know if I spelled that right? I think I did. I'm sure you're about to find one. FM2. I will find one. Okay, here we go. Okay, here's some liquid cooling. Would you potato this up to four hundred pound? Um there's a decent cooler there. Decent cooler there. Decent cooler there. If you're gonna go with water cooling, I'd recommend one of these and or you could use your own liquid bank. But yeah, I'm sure most of these are pretty good ones. So, so you just chuck that on. That takes it up to 352 with a CPU cooler on it. And all the paint on my mouse is coming off. I done a really bad job at painting it. But oh well, 50 plus of suppliers available in two to three days from order. So you will have to order this off their website or off of online somewhere probably. But yeah, there's all the parts. Um, if any of you do actually get this computer. Um, message me and let me know what your experience is with or post in the description any upgrades that the viewers could have I will make another PC build for say well this is 400 pounds so 
I'm sure people we had to find upgrades to make it up to like six, seven hundred pound mark. So I'll find some things that so if it keeps clicking. But I'll find a different PC build. Probably using some of the same components that will come up to a higher price. There'll be a higher build computer. So yeah, I'll come back with a better with a different build tomorrow probably. See you in a bit. Bleh. Wait, no, wrong thing.